Hello, I'm Carlos Arcelara. I'm a medical oncologist in Casa Grande, Arizona. I'm also a hematologist. I wanted to talk to you today about uh, multiple myeloma. So multiple myeloma, it's a rare cancer of the bone marrow. Uh, basically what happens is inside of the bone marrow, there is a plasma cell, which is part of your bone marrow normally, but something wrong goes on and that plasma cells has a clone that starts making an abnormal protein and that abnormal protein will build up in your body and it can harm your body. So multiple myeloma can sometimes actually be asymptomatic. People don't know that they have this bad protein growing in their body, but most of the time they'll have some symptoms, anemia being one of the most common, but also they can have bone pains. Uh, they also can have uh, elevated calcium, which can make them, make them confused. And also you can have kidney dysfunction, which can be devastating. So uh, on the signs of multiple myeloma can be something that we see with other illnesses. Um, the overall um, constitute of symptoms uh, make multiple myeloma a syndrome that has to be diagnosed by a hematologist, oncologist. When we determine that it's hurting your body, then that's when we start doing certain testing uh, that is necessary. Uh, we talk about bone marrow biopsies, uh, we talk about PET scans, uh, that you know, we talk about urinary tests, blood tests to make sure that we can stage the multiple myeloma appropriately uh, so we can have the right treatment for you. So we're actually going to target the uh, multiple myeloma cell that is causing the problems uh, with a very specific treatment based on the results that we actually get. The risk factors that uh, are evaluated with multiple myeloma for it to be less or more aggressive uh, are going to be mutations that we actually detect with very, very comprehensive testing, uh, something called next generation sequencing, molecular testing. And based on those, uh, treat on those results, we're going to have uh, the treatment that is appropriate. Sometimes it's going to be two chemotherapy uh, agents, sometimes three, sometimes even four at the same time to try to control the multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma, unfortunately, is diagnosed in about 35,000 patients every year in the United States. About more than 12,000, unfortunately, still die from multiple myeloma. So it's a diagnosis that is um, uncommon, but we do see uh, it in our community. Multiple myeloma cannot be prevented, but it can be detected early which is very, very important. Uh, minimal signs or abnormalities in a blood test uh, can actually um, prompt the physician to, and the provider to basically test for the possibility of a, an early uh, multiple myeloma that is called MGUS or monoclonal gammopathy of unknown significance, which basically is considered like a precancer. So w those patients are also followed in the hematology clinic because we have to determine if at any point it hurts your body, then we're catching it very early. There's an intermediate type, which is called smoldering multiple myeloma, where sometimes when we see characteristics that basically tell us that it's gonna be hurtful in a very short time, we actually intervene early. So it's very important, the early detection, and it's very important to see if you have a family history of it, uh, that you are tested for multiple myeloma. Most patients, when there's an abnormal protein detected, uh, are tested about once every six months to every year, depending on the type and depending on the amount. So if we have MGUS that has been basically followed for the last uh, few years, then we uh, just have it to do it once a year. But if we have a protein that is rising or it has been diagnosed recently, then we try to do it every four to six months where we see our patients and do the blood test and the clinical exam that is necessary. Music